Well, um, now it's time for me to do a little bit of playing, and I'm gonna give it a try and see how it is. Um, please excuse the mess. Um, there's a lot of things going on right now. This room is a big mess. So if you don't mind, just focus on me and the game, of course. And, um, let me give it a try. So, Super Nintendo, I'm going to, um, hook it up right now and uh, get it going so now you should be seeing hopefully something on the screen I'm gonna try, try to shrink myself down into one of the corners of the screen um, fortunately for me I don't have green screening yet but let me turn it on and so far it's working okay I'm gonna get started now. Play a nice quick game. I haven't played this game in a long time, so please excuse me if I don't race so good. Just do a nice little quick trap. I like the first one. I like the music. And um here we go. So I think right now you hold the gas to get that nice speed boost. Oh I didn't get it. Each Mario Kart game I notice has a different timing. Um, uh, when to hold down the gas, um, when you, you know, get that speed boost from the very beginning. And I missed that one. Wow, I'm not doing so good. It's alright, I still got more time. Got more coins, get some more speed. I'm just trying to remember that the jumping is not the same like in the newer Mario Karts. So I'm gonna do my best. See what I can do. I remember when I was a kid, I saved up a lot of money to buy this game at KB Toys when I was in New York, and man, the most expensive game next to this one was Super Street Fighter 2. It cost like 90 something dollars. This one was only $10 cheaper. I starved myself saving up all my allowance money so I can just get this one game. <laughs> I had people jealous of me when I got it. It's funny because when I got it, it was just like literally a new game and like nobody else in you had this game. There we go. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna check the next one quickly. Turn it off. I don't know, Mega Man X3 uses the FX chip, but the connection's not so great with this one right now. I'm gonna see if I can do a quick level on this one now and um, see what I get with it. So, um, just trying to start it quickly. I wish I had a nice password to start off on a different level, that would be cool. There I went through hell to get this one. Mega Man X3 easy to find for Super Nintendo. Getting the original cartridge. Just gotta wait. Gotta crash land this thing down. Of course, it's just a demo still. Gotta bear with me. I haven't played these games in a while. Alright. First game we get to play Zero in. I'm gonna rush through it. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that sucks. Alright, I'm doing good so far. I love the boss, I'm making my X2 the first boss. I think I should have played that one instead. It's okay. I don't know most people own the cartridge for this game, so that's why I decided to play it. Okay, getting there. Oh, nice. Now I'm remembering things. Introduction. I like how they made Zero really powerful in this game by also having a nice charge up. 
if you can wait long enough. Oh, I just use a sword, I just remembered. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and I love the scrolling doors. This game has inspired me to make my own computer games like this. With the nice, uh, screens. Oh, I keep forgetting you can't double jump. Alright. Oh, they don't reload the NPCs. I know they um, made a CD version of this game, and if you play um, the other soundtracks of these games, um, they have a newer, they made two different soundtracks for the whole Mega Man X3 games, but I prefer some of the Super Nintendo version music, and um, this older Mega Man X game that um, lets you play, I think for Mega Man X1, all the way to six, and it was some type of collection game you could buy for PS2. I can't remember what it's called right now. I didn't like the way how when they you play, of course, the uh, ROM for Mega Man X3, they only put on the newer music and gave you no option if you wanted to hear the Super Nintendo version of the music. I don't know what's with Capcom when they made that they made that um you know re-release. There, guys. And all the nice changing of the palette rotations of the background turning red. On an 8 bit color screen, 256 colors. I'm trying to remember how to. Sorry, I have not played this boss in a long time. I'm playing really crappy. So, this is 60 frames per second. Um, I don't know if you're still watching me play. But, um,. Oh. I didn't like the boss music though. I don't know, I'm pretty sure some people love it to death. Nice. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can skip up a little ahead. For example, for this level, for example, I like this music player, the Super Nintendo. Oops, sorry, I just killed the introduction there. I didn't mean to do that. But I prefer this version over the CD music version. Anyways, you get the whole point. 60 frames per second. It's actually playable. I wasn't playing this whole time on the um, computer, but now when I see it, the, uh, you know, HD60S version, actually I can just play off of that. So now I'm playing it off of the computer screen. And I'm dead. Anyways, I'm done. <laughs> Can't keep this video going. And, um, that's it for that. I'm going to put this whole video together and edit it together. You know, it's two separate things recording. Anyways, let's see how this video turns out. You tell me, you know, in the views and comments if you don't mind. Thank you. And by the way, I'm using, um, if you didn't know, I'm using a uh, Joby. And a really nice expensive phone to do the recording in 60 frames per second. So you can use one of these too if um, you're trying to like save on money and do your own little thing, you know what I mean? A couple last um, things I just remembered I, as a reminder. So how I'm going to put this together and put this part also on the video as I'm recording this from the camera is to... One, this is the video I just recorded to make everything. So this came from the Elgato and me playing Mario Kart and Mega Man X3 
so I got recorded here you know and I already showed you that um, 60 frames per second 1080 it doesn't need to be 1080 because it was an old game system so I'm you know just showing you the power of this and because I have the HD 60s I guess I don't need two screens I could just use my computer and record it because I got the more expensive one and remember you have to have a USB 3.0 with that so what I'll have to do next is I would have to open up pretty much a video editing program I don't know which one you use but right now I'm gonna be using Vegas Pro 12 pretty much so though right now it's still on my phone the video of me recording myself playing the game I use the actual um, game that got the, the Super Nintendo games that got recorded here which also came with the audio and the sound effects the music and sound effects I'll be dragging it in my editor program and then of course um, of course I have to set up the settings for it to be 60 frames per second there's a lot of other um, videos on how to do that on YouTube so I'm not going to go that far. Pretty much with this video, you know, once again, what this video was about is me showing you how to, you know, get 60 frames per second playing old video games using the audio and video wires. And then I would have to drag in the other video of me playing myself, and then I just, um, um, you know, as it's playing here, and then the other video of me recording, so I'll have to shrink it down into a corner of the screen or whatever I want to do with my, my head shot, and then... That, you know, and that's it, and then do all the editing, which you're going to see about right now, because this video that I'm editing right here is what you're watching right now. <laughs> so, it, this video that I'm recording right now, as you're listening to me, is going to be put in somewhere along this. <laughs> and um, that's how I'm putting together this video as you are watching it. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, I'm glad I could show you this. I wish the video was a little bit shorter, but I was also learning myself how to do this, and I'm glad that these two products I bought, they ended up working out. I waited long and patiently for this day, and I'm happy to show you that you can actually record old video game systems at 60 frames per second, and remember, it doesn't have to be such a high resolution, because these are older systems. And um, there you have it. Bye.